commercial break with the back here saying, Inada Music Magazine. And today I have Mika. Today I'm on there, the Pasa Pasa Monday, and we got one nice, special invited guest. She don't want female, she don't want one here. So come in, come share all about music and something very important about gospel music. She is Wendy Harawa. Welcome, welcome to the music. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So Wendy, we want to give you that warm welcome, not only to the music, but also to San Andres Island, Colombia, um, an audience where you may have for your gospel music. And we're so glad to have you. We feel so humble that we get your interview today. So first of all, how are you? How is the evening? How is Wendy? Well, I'm fine. I'm just super blessed. The evening is fine. I am by the beach in Lake Malawi in a place called Mangochi. Okay. And I'm here. And I'm happy to be here. Okay, so let's start um, talking about who's Wendy. And we understand that first you used to make secular music and then you passed to gospel music when you felt that call to gospel music. Let us talk a little bit about your earlier story so we can understand finally who is Wendy Wahara today. Right, um, well, yeah, actually I was one of the biggest female secular musicians in Malawi, dancehall, actually the only dancehall artist in Malawi. Wow. Um, for some years, for some years, um, until I thought, I thought that I had everything that one needs to have because I'm also a promoter, I also manage artists, and I thought this was the life, but um, until I got to, to be saved, until I knew Christ, as my personal Lord and Savior, I realized that, man, I was missing out. I did not have it all. What I had that time, I got triple this time. It's not an easy road. We meet um, uh, tough things on the road, but I know that when you got Jesus, you still come out okay. Because I've been in situations like, I was wild. I was crazy. You talk Wendy, you see all the crazy stuff. So I thank God for saving me. So with me now, what you see is what you get. Oh, wow. Very nice, very nice. Yeah. I know it's not easy to, um, to pass from uh, the, road, the road life, the, the way of seeing mm -hmm. things in, in, the, in the popular way, and pass to, um, to gospel mm -hmm. music. Um, it's not mm -hmm. easy. Uh, your fans, did, did you lose fans when you when you take this step, or, or, or they, they they keep still and and keep connected to your music? Yeah, I I, I lost a lot of friends, and um, I lost some fans along the way. But to be honest, they have a lot have supported me. I think because of the type of person that I was, to actually change, people have actually been interested to see really. So there's God. Like really, so I have had people following, like to understand and say, what is this? You know, it has not been easy, but also I realized to say, the only thing that was holding me back from then is we feel like gospel music is boring. Like when you have to sing for Jesus, it has to be about comedy. That's right. It just has to be gay. This is, but gospel music is actually full of life. This, the dancing, the enjoyment, whether it's crying, whether it's party, it's for us Christians. So this is, uh, I, I decided to take the path that in my music, we give it that dance, whether mm -hmm. it's the youth, whether it's who, they don't get bored. They should know that there's life in Christ. It's not about being boring or whatever, whatever. It's about your faith and having a relationship with God and living right. For sure, totally agree with you. And um, many of the time, artists don't take the music of a life, lifestyle, but listen to your words in the mere few minutes, we notice that you really got gospel as a lifestyle, got gospel of uh, uh, inspiration of, of, your, of your music. And talking all about gospel, we want to know what gospel music is in your life as Wendy, what you, or what you take out of gospel music as first? Well, pardon me, did you say what do I feel? What do you, what gospel music mean in your life? What what did it do in my life? Yeah, what gospel music mean, which meaning it have in your life? 
my life. Okay. It, 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 it is actually, it, it's everything. It, it, it's a way of living. There's so much peace in it. It's, it's, it's just like the music that we enjoy. It's just like in gospel music, we spread the gospel. And we, we I mean, there's praise. I, I think praise as well. And um, when you sing praise and when you worship, that's the food of God. And then you get your blessings. For me, there's just everything in it. Like, I'm blessed. And I've, I've found peace. I mean, I used to drink, like, all night. I'm not condemning or saying drinking is wrong, no. But I would drink, like, all night and feel this is what is fun. This is peace and enjoy. But I have more peace right now, minus that. I have more peace right now. And when I sing that music... It just takes you to a different place. There's that connection with your with your connect with your creator. You have that inner peace, and you find consciousness um, to lay on and to lay yeah. your music on as well. That is um, a lot of identity. Even though uh, we understand that gospel music, and um, especially in Africa, it is um, on different genres that popular for you all. It doesn't mean that gospel music cannot match with a, a lively genre or a, a, a lively rhythm be told or go to the secular music. So I would like to ask you for us to have another insight about Malawi music. Um, how is the music industry there? Because I, I heard you said that you were an um, dance hall artist first and then we have the gospel music. But what else can we find in Malawi music industry? Malawi has got a lot of talent. It's, 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 it's a small African country, but it's got a lot of talent. The music is good because there's some sort of African beat, some culture, to it, that African culture to it. But um, I guess, I don't know whether it's because, um, I don't know whether it's the difference or, or whatever, we have just not really prom promoted our music so much or taken it out there. But there's a lot of talent, like far from even what I do. This is the reason why I decided to say the energy that I used in the secular, I use it now, I do collaborations, we take the Malawi music out to the world. And the only way we can do that is by collaborations, is by people like, actually I should appreciate you for having different artists um, uh, from, 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 from different countries, that's what I've noticed, that's what we actually need. That way, with the collaborations, we are taking Malawi music out. And whether it's Kenya, whether it's Burundi, whether it's Uganda, we are bringing the music um, all around um, the world. So that's just all we need to do to get the music out there. And I am hoping that uh, I could introduce you guys to a lot of Malawi and other Malawian artists you can also host on this show, whose talent, trust me, you will appreciate, and whose music you will enjoy. Pleasure definitely to have um, different talent, talented people from Malawi here on our show and, and you know doing this kind of connection with the music and uh, having like different insight also to show our audience that there is a lot of alternative good music in the world yet to explore. Pardon me? Sorry? I'm seeing that um, you, you handle uh, many genres in the music this is not mm -hmm. something easy to do because you have someone that uh, some people that they do reggae some do dancehall some do afrobeat mm -hmm. but you handle all of them which mm -hmm. one you choose or which one is your pref your favorite to um to express what you need to exteriorize when you come to um gospel music right it's actually i express myself better if, uh, with dance or music because it's what i've done a long way but at the same time i love to sing and with the gospel sometimes you just want that so soulful music so because i thank god for the talent that i can be able to sing almost every type of genre so what i do is i just sing what i feel at that moment so that i can also cater for everybody else at the same time i also enjoy myself and, and, and just praise god yes for sure everything is about passionate about it do it with love and really you will transmit what you really feel through the music. Being a female is not easy, and being a female in the music industry is not easy neither. What is that experience that you can share to us about being a female in the music industry and in the gospel music? 
Right. Uh, firstly, I'll actually even start from the, the secular part that it has not been easy also, especially like in Africa, in, in my country, in Malawi, in our culture, a woman's place is in the kitchen where you cook, you clean up, you look after the children. So it has not been an easy road. You know, there would be times that because you jump on stage, because I used to dance a lot, like we have this dance that is called Kwasa Kwasa, you know, where you twerk and shake all that. It's actually a dance, but when you do that, people would say, they'll call you names, uh, prostitute, this, this, this. So it was not easy, but I told myself I was not going to give up. Um, it's actually a male-dominated industry in Malawi to say sky is the limit. I mean, sky is not the limit, it's the beginning. So it has, it's been challenging. So even as a gospel artist, it is not that easy, but uh, Malawi has accepted this time. Things have changed, so we actually have a lot of female artists that have come out now, but it has not been easy, you know. You go in the corridors, you want to promote your music, you want to meet um, some people in the corporate, they will look at you as a woman and they want favors and they want something from you. And when you don't get it done, they'll probably just stop your music in there. You know, DJs, some of them will do that, not everybody else. But you also get to meet stuff like that, you know. So one has got to be strong and uh, maybe sometimes having managers helps a lot but that's been the challenging part of being a female artist so i actually encourage all upcoming female artists young ones not to give up and not to fall in such traps or whatever believe in yourself believe in your talent and believe in god and you're gonna get there um they give us a, a little information that you have a song released with an artist a ugandan artist that we already had also in the show which is a living soul. Tell us a little bit about the experience with this artist, the recording, and also the, the song as well, the project. It's been amazing working with him. He's a wonderful, he's a wonderful, wonderful uh, gospel uh, minister of God. He's got so, so much talent. We met uh, in Nairobi in 2018, where we both won an award. And the energy that I saw with him on stage, that's when I said, I think this is what I would want to see out there in the world, to Malawi and to everywhere else. So we started talking later on, a year or two later, we decided to do the song and it's doing quite good. And we'll do a lot of projects together. And we are on a tour, a world tour, promoting the song together. Very nice. Um, would you mind giving us a little piece of a cappella from this song you have with Living Stone? From the from from the song Zikomo? Yeah, or any other one of your projects. Um any of my projects. <laughs> like I said, um <laughs> I, like I said, I like to do that. So there's a song that I did with one guy from Kenya called G Guardian Angel. Okay. So I would love to do that one. Go ahead. Although my favorite song is Zikomo, the one with Levixon. But uh, since I'm doing a cappella, I would love to do that one a little bit. Okay. So We're out of ears. Um, Sometimes the things are hard, I can't imagine. Gracela is in this, nothing is changing. Kala Chabe Moyo, what is who pretending? Natopa, so Mr. Business of Sayenda, Pena Matenda, your partner playing you with another fella. Don't say so, Iwe, Uma Pendula, Ramum, Papa, boom, boom. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. Wow. wow, wow, I imagine the industry of <laughs> gospel music must be huge back in the place where we come from because with all these generally yeah. taking over the industry and uh, the youth, them always um, look forward to find these type of um, rhythms to, to, to link up to. Um, how, how is it uh, growing, um, the gospel music growing in this type of genre back where you're from? How has it been? Is oh, that oh, a question? Oh, how is it growing? Oh, it is. It is growing. It is growing and it's, it's doing really great. We've got um, a lot of some hip hop artists doing good. This genre are doing good. So it is growing. Okay. That's nice. It's important to 
and push, uh, push up the new artists to continue in that gospel music boat. And also to um, do it in, in a way that people will really enjoy gospel music, but in a different genre and feel that really nice connection. In your future projects, mm -hmm. which featuring you have with another um, African artist that you would like to share with us this evening? You said you asked, what's your last sentence? Right now, which uh, project you have or you're working on with any African yeah, artist, international artist that would you like to share with us? Yeah, there's a, a song that I'm working with another artist from Zambia. His name is Kings Mumbi. We are actually shooting a video for that song called Working On Me next Monday in, in, in Zambia. So I would, I'll would actually be sharing that, uh, the, the video and the song with you guys very soon. So that's the latest project and we're looking into working with somebody from Tanzania and from Colombia. Wow, wow, nice. Yeah. Well, we have to try to get that link for you, Wendy. And um, we want to give you thanks for this nice interview, yeah. definitely. It was uh, something uh, great to have you as a female artist. As I said, um, we have been in touch with different Ugandan artists and gospel music artists, but these uh, were male. It was nice to have you here on the show and consider this a platform uh, to Thank promote you. your music anytime you have any new projects, anything you want to share with the globe Thank and you. this side of the globe, you just uh, feel welcome, okay? And free to share it with us. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me and thank you for what you're doing. I think it is great. Uh, thank you so much. All right, sir, you will be welcome. We will wait on your new project here so in the music magazine in this part of the Caribbean, San Andres, Providence, and Catalina. Continue all the success in music and continue to connect all of you them with this nice vibe and gospel music, but in different genre. For us, it was a pleasure to have you here in the music.